Oh, hello there. Hello. Uh, and greetings. Lana, how, you, how are you? I'm gonna cook a sandwich. Cook, cook a sandwich? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna fix the video real quick. Make, make, make it look nice. It's weird. It's all plant-based. Ooh. It was definitely an impulse buy. Uh, chat, how the hell are ya? How is everyone? Uh, no one was expecting this. This is a surprise. We didn't talk about it. Mm -mm. We're just like, hey, let's do, uh, let's unbox these miniatures. Wait, I want to be a child. Where's your computer? I'll pull off on my phone! <laughs> <laughs> technology. <laughs> um, what up, Pelogies? Uh, Matthew Raccoon! Uh, I like that name. Yadro, how are ya? Uh, what's up, Dravgen? Uh, Celtic Boar? Howdy, howdy, Biotreco? Polygum? Oh, what a party! Yanaril's in here! Um, so, uh, we got some miniatures to unbox. This, this is the first one we took out, um, ah. because we wanted to see, like, you know, uh, how it looked on camera. Look at the, this, look, look how high def that camera is. I feel like mm. it, I feel like we're on QVC. Look at this, what is this? It says on the bottom. This is a nightmare. A nightmare. Yes, unboxing with Dev is a nightmare. <laughs> Fuck you. Love you. Um, uh, I want to run or play Theros campaign so badly after getting the source book and reading through it. I know the source book is fantastic. They, I really like the omens in it. They do this thing like mm. you can roll on an omens table and it, depending on what god you follow mm -hmm. um, or what god you're a champion of. And so things like you notice that the leaves always blow in the direction of your quest or wow. you know fun stuff like that um yeah but there's a bunch there's like also like you know um you always find bro it, it, like i don't know them by recall but another one is like you find broken rocks wherever you go hmm. that could be like you know the god of the forge i don't know them off the top of my head but they're they're pretty fun um uh method raccoon might be my favorite 5e setting so far Ooh, that's cool um Lana, do you know anything about the mythic Odyssey of, uh, Odyssey of Theros? No. Okay. <laughs> um, it's essentially D&D's Greek setting. Okay. Um, now, Theros is also a, a, a crossover with Magic the Gathering. Hmm. So Magic the Gathering it has a release that is a Theros set, and it's very Grecian in design. So it's like the same lore? Yeah. Well, no. It is similar lore. Um, Are they like officially affiliated with each other, or uh, Magic in 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 D D? No, this this Theros. Theros in in what? In Magic the Gathering and D D. Yes, so Theros was a release originally in Magic the Gathering. Oh, and then D and D. And then D and because D and D and, and Magic are owned by the same company, right? Right. Yeah. So they were like, oh, and they did this before with Ravnica. Um, uh, so this is like the second time they're doing it, um, and so. Uh, uh, let's see, Dragon. Uh, yes, I'm torn between Theros and Ravnica. I like a lot of the. I, I definitely think I like Theros more than Ravnica. Um, I think it's also because it, it has a lot of Greek. Um, mm. uh, Is that your favorite uh, mythological pantheon? No. What's your favorite? Ooh. Ooh. Same with you, chat. What would you say? Yeah. What's habit? your favorite mythological pantheon? Um, so I, I don't know if it's mythological pantheon. But mythological stories, um, I do like, I'd probably say first, I love uh, Native American uh, or Indigenous American. Um, like the but Raven. the Americas, because there's a lot of like. Yeah, um, I think the Americas is the one I'm most familiar with, but things like why the Raven is black is because it stole the light from the old man and when it flew through his uh, his um, fireplace, yeah, it got covered in suit. gods are basically the stories of animals. Yeah. Um, I also really like mythology from uh, uh, like Irish mythology, like mythology? yeah, like uh, Finn McCool and like old Druidic stuff. Mm, yeah. That stuff's pretty cool. It's interesting because like a lot of the Celtic mythology is very related to the Nordic, but then they sort of split off and it got like. But there's a lot of uh, similarities. Yeah. But yeah, um, there's some really fun like. God, what's your favorite? I mean. It's Currently, as chat is semi-familiar, because I had to try and explain it while well, well, listening to Eric Cartman's rendition of what was the song. I tried to block it out. I can, I can, I can get it. Up. Nope, nope. But uh, all of ooh, Egyptian. Yeah. 
um, uh, Valhalla uh, and maybe Egyptian because a lot of my D&D characters use a Copish flavored uh, longsword. Uh, Vidic Sean, thank you for those 19 months. Oh my gosh. I, I, I here, here is to 1900 more. You heard it, 1900, mm -hmm. finding. Um, ooh, I play Magic the Gathering and love the Theros set. Um, Biotrek is saying they're actually doing a D&D &D set for Magic, so it's the reverse. Uh-oh, they Every can't hear me, Dev. Everyone wants to be serenaded by my voice. I don't think you're muted. No, they just said over the music. Oh, oh. I'll move this closer. Thanks, Matthew Raccoon. Also, to answer the question, I'm like... You say raccoon like I do now. Is that how you say it? Raccoon? I just always think of Rocky Raccoon. <laughs> so I hear the song playing in my head. But um, I'm super into like Mesoamerican Aztec stuff right now. It's yeah. bonkers town. It really is. Um, now, uh, oh, Kiwi, thank you for those five months. Um... All right. Why don't we? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you break open the rest of that box? All right. We have the nightmare. That's cool. Yep. So this this uh, fun little. Eh, this looks like the kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is that a ring? Yeah. No. Uh. This is definitely the kind of horse a ring wraith would ride. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like this is that. Yeah. Maybe a little more webby. Or like a or like a death knight. Sure. Yeah. All right. uh, oh, that that one actually still has ones in there. I just Oh yeah. Dev just can't wait till Christmas to open. Needs to be scare it needs to be a scarier uh dark uh horse nay. <laughs> yes, Kiwi. I was that was one of the most stressful things I'd ever had to do. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got a uh Officially, a Triton Master of Waves. Ooh. He's doing the with arms wide open. Go, go, ahead, go ahead and hit the focus on that one. Oh, I took a picture. Oh. <laughs> there we go. But, um, uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Bring it on. No, no, no. It's arms wide open. Oh, yeah. Oh, the <laughs> with waves wide open. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. No, with Todd's wide open. <laughs> Not to mention a... Uh... <laughs> oh, uh, Matthew Raccoon. Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Lunge. Stretch. Yeah, so... Celtic, Celtic Boar says I need to hang around more horses. Celtic Boar? I grew up on a horse ranch. Will you send us a horse? <laughs> we... No. I want no, a pony. No. I want a pony. No. No. Not again. Not after last time. That was... An anomaly. Listen, the moment Robbie said, horse, horse race, we can fix the race, you should have known it was a bad idea. I um, think, uh, oh, look, it's the two. So the two headed version evolves into the three headed version and ooh. becomes Cerberus in Greek mythology. Did you see Cerberus as heck image I sent? No. Oh, it's so also, good. I just made that up though. This is, oh. Sorry, Eva. It's literally, guess what this is called? What? Two-headed Cerberus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get super creative there. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. So we got this little, this little angry boy. Oh. You know. I'm just gonna make the noises uh, every. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make all the noises. Imagine though. So if they have multiple heads, do you think each of them gets a headache, or can one have a headache and one doesn't? Or is that... Well, I believe headache is also tied to your nervous system, right? That's what so I mean. if they have a shared nervous system, I think it could be either. Um, so like. But I think they'd feel pain the same. That's what I mean. Like yeah, what if it's yeah, they'd have it. They, 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 headache? Double headache. Double headache. That sucks. Yeah. Um, what if one of them uh, has like a loose like tooth does the other one feel the pain of that yes wow that sucks yeah really is a con against having double trouble head. this is the this is the winter uh this is the uh double mint fun uh right there yeah grab another you can't, can't have a white you can't have a white table i'm sorry ah! you can't have a white table you gotta you got you gotta just keep mm -hmm. putting them out there so he's coming to give him a big hug and then they kiss <laughs> not kiss you know we have eight boxes oh I guess I should open the next one. Fine. There's more. There's more in that one too, isn't there? No, that was it. All right. God, stop yelling at me. <laughs> Dev's being hysterical, everyone. I am acting like my. Ah! 
Uh, driving in so many new creatures for Devon Oh, players. God. I don't... Oh, I know. I love this one. Ah! This, one. <laughs> this is a great paint job, too. This is... Uh, like, WizKids has gone incredibly... Uh, uh, high performing with their with their mass printed minis, and I really like this one. Wait, but yeah. do you want to hear my impression of Krabby the Pokemon? Sure. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Move back up there, yeah. Sh sh show the top side. Yeah, there you go. Down low. Oh, that guy. He's got some pokey bits. Um... Uh, also, uh, more to your left when you show off, because our, our cameras are blocking. Keep going. Go. There you go, yeah. Oh, but then it's not centered on my screen. Exactly, but it's not centered on our screen either. I see. Yeah. His name is Emissary of Thassa. What? So. <laughs> no, that's Crab! <laughs> nope, this is that's his name. <laughs> he has an official title. That's one of the gods, Thassa. He does not go by Crab, he goes yeah. by Emissary of Thassa. So, uh, <laughs> he is a proud and noble Crab! Thassa, thank Someone you. Someone in our, 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 our Discord shared a really funny um, meme that was like, Why do you have 300 mods running on, uh, uh, on uh, what's that game? Um, uh, oh shit, Skyrim. And it's like, because it helps immersion, you have a mod for giving the mud crabs a monocle. It's like, the mud crabs are a proud and uh, proud and royal race. <laughs> he would totally have a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I like that he's is significantly bigger than this guy. Who is a... Oh, I love that. Basilisk. Who's not a basilisk? What is this? This is too mammal-like. Basilisks are like crazy serpenty reptile things, no? Also, ew, look at his goatee. Well, basilisk in D&D isn't very uh, uh, serpentile. Gross. Remember, you're, you you want to get over a little more. There you go. Look at that oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. The goatee there. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah, no, I kind of like that. that th this looks like, like, hey, make Scar, but make it D&D. &D. It's like those Egyptian ones that are just like... <laughs> Speaking of Egyptian mythology. But yeah, look at how much bigger uh, this fucking emissary is than him. What a big ass crab. <laughs> One stripey boy. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let's see who this is. This is Returned Sentry. Wow. This is the that's well, like, you got you need a couple of the normal boys, right? Yeah, but I just love that that's like the equivalent name of like extra soldier. <laughs> like, they don't get an actual name. They're just like, uh, re red shirt. <laughs> l a, little more, a little more to the other direction? There you go, yeah. There you go. Look at that. Show us the back. He's got a little cape. No capes! Oh, he does have a little cape. And he's got a fun mask. Um, General, this box really literally has every figure I love from this set. Oh. Skabras just subscribed. Skabras, let's go. Can't believe it's been so long. These minis look so good. Skabras, 18 months. Fucking party on. Yeah, I guess we'll. Yeah, I guess we'll take another drink. All right. Yeah. Okay, so a crab. No, an emissary. Put put, put 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 crab in focus. No, no, you you can put him down. Just you know. Uh, walks into a bar and then, uh, this guy is so drunk he's singing. And I'm pissing off him because he's he's very sophisticated. Yeah, he's crabby. Cultured. No, he's <laughs> yeah, very he's cultured. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this guy needs to get kicked out, so they bring in the bouncer, which is two-headed Cerberus. Yeah, that makes sense. That and they out. can play good cop, bad cop simultaneously. Yeah. Like good head, bad head. Listen, man. Listen, man. I really want you to be here. All right? My, uh, my friend is here. He doesn't want you here. <laughs> 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 yeah. I yeah. like how one is angry and can't talk, and the other one is just Scooby Doo. And this is his buddy who's like, "Dude, come on, just chill, chill out, chill just out. be cool, just chill. be cool. You gotta chill out, bro." And he's like holding him down, and he's he's ready to throw down. Look at his arms. Look at that stance. He's like, "No, no, 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 don't do that." Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Cerberus is behind your panel again. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna make a little I'm gonna make a little make a little mark. I need I need a uh, yeah. Move uh move the uh sentry over a little more towards me, my direction. All right, stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why I got that. <laughs> Don't pass the threshold. Anyway, so that's the scene. Let's see who else this we have. This is such like a low-key stream. <laughs> we have like no plan. Can you see 
bad idea. Let's see what other characters enter this bar. Fenry Stark, Lana! Lana! What? Lana! What? what? <laughs> Do you have GERD, Lana? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what Fenrir Stark put in chat. Danger zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so this chick. Nope, man. Hey, could be a day of them. It's true. Uh, a nymph naiad. Okay. Uh, he's got a pretty fun little ponytail. Oh, oh! Look at that! Okay, so he's the performer on stage. He's yeah. like the live entertainment in the bar. Um, so he's over put, here. Put, them, put, that, put them where the crab is. We've seen the crab. Let's, let's see. Wait, okay, so the crab's sitting over here, and he's pissed off at this guy who's super drunk. And this is the bouncer yelling at him, and this is Buddy trying to get him to calm down. So put him over here. <laughs> and this is the live performer. There you go. Um. Oh God, this one's scary. But she has glitter on her. Thought render llama. <laughs> oh, thought as in I had a thought. <laughs> <laughs> he said she had glitter on her. I was like, wow. <laughs> We're really reaching with these. Thought render la. Oh, Lamia. <laughs> oh, this is the one we argued about what it was. Yeah, yeah. And I was right. Uh, but look, she has a very Scary human face. No, yeah. Oh god! I hate it! <laughs> uh, too close. There you go. But look, she has glitter in her. Oh, that's kind of cool. So she's, she's she's the backup singer, obviously, because right. she's in her, uh, you know, yeah. performance outfit. But that's that's also kind of terrifying. Now, normally I'd have autofocus on for this, but because it's macro, my autofocus is kind of bad with micro. Also, I don't really know how to use that camera yet. Sexy background music. Ah. Yeah, as you're... <laughs> um, especially if we got Thought Lamy is up, come, coming up here. <laughs> thought. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Here's a... Uh, Acroan Hoplite. Uh, is it... Uh, I think there's another way you say Hoplite. 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 Is it Hoplite? I have no idea. I'm just chat. That you up. know. You know. It's spelled H O P L I T E. Hoplite. This, this is what this is what uh, uh, Tim wants to be in campaign two. This, uh, this guy? Not that guy. The uh, uh, hoplite is a oh, it's hoplite. Yeah, a hoplite is a type of warrior. Um, think a think a, think like a Spartan. It's a silly name. <laughs> but there, but that's like Grecian history right there. Yeah, he's definitely got some gladiator vibes going yeah. on. It's a uh, Levosa. <laughs> Leviosa. And oh, oh, that one looks cool. I can't even see it from all the way over here, but it looks cool. Leonin, Leonin Swiftclaw. That sounds like a Harry Potter house. So that means that this is a this is a it, an important person because they have a they have a proper noun for the name. But it's Leonin. 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 So he's like a tabaxi? Well, sort of. They're, so Theros doesn't have tabaxis, but they have Leonins, which are lion people. Oh, so it's specifically lion. Yeah. Um, I don't like the stats on them as much as I like the tabaxi, but if you're playing in my game, uh, I would let you play any type of cat you want as a tabaxi. Oh, Matthew Raccoon says it's the race, not the name. Oh, oh, wait. wait no, he's says, not important. No, Leon and what? But what's the last thing? Swift Claw. Swift Claw. So That's the I... Hogwarts house he's in. No. <laughs> so I thought. Uh, uh, well, when you said Leon and I thought it was because Swift Claw sounds like a proper noun. Like, <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm Swift Claw. Um. It's a strong family name. Uh. But yeah, I, I, I like I like the tabaxi from. Uh, Maybe there's rough claw. Rough claw. Yep. Maybe there's. What's the opposite of swift? Slow claw. Slow claw. That's the crap. That's this guy. Yeah. yeah. What a fun party. Eh. Okay. Oh, it's like skeleton archer. Okay, yeah. So it's a, it's a t it's a type of of class. Oh, uh, like or, a subclass yeah. type thing. 
Ooh. Um, Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. Ooh. These, his wings are making me think of. Oh, this is tight. Of the Valkyries in God of War, which Th were sick. This is also giving me like straight X-Men angel vibes. Also, he's got like a reptilian mohawk thing going on. Oh, that's kind of like a, it kind of looks like a little watery. Yeah, like it's very reptilian web. You have wings. But he can fly. Mm -hmm. He is the bo best of both worlds. Also, he's wearing sandals. <laughs> so. Are they rainbows? <laughs> are they Birkenstocks? Yeah. What kind? Yeah, because like, are they Berkeley or are they San Diego? That's what I need to know. This is definitely San Diego. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's the difference in California. Berks, Berks are Northern California, and and uh, rainbows are Southern California. But yeah, I have no idea what this guy is. That's all of them. Well, there's a whole bag. Oh, that's not all of them. <laughs> I want more. I want a, I want a, a lady. These seem all like male characters, with the exception of this terrifying Lamia. <laughs> but I want like a, you know, an edgy girl, quirky girl. I can't open this. They're, well, they're, they're taped. I knew that. <laughs> there, um, you have my keys. I need, uh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just, you struggling with them. Are these the ones we're shipping out? Well. Maybe. <laughs> Personal touch by Lana. Uh, don't we all, Lana? Um, let's see. Uh, um, I think it was Brown Bear, at least uh, for Pottermore. Um, Matthew Raccoon, which is why those us in Central California are the best. Oh, <laughs> because forgotten. Because we, we were Burks and they were rainbows. I don't. I don't ever really wear sandals. I have a this pair of Burks, but I rarely wear them. Ripped ass centaur. Oh, get it out of here. You know what I, how I feel about centaurs. Sev doesn't like them. Um, also, if they wear pants, how do they wear them? I know. This is a, this is the age-old question. The age-old question. <laughs> also, if they already have a tail and they put their hair in a ponytail, which one's the ponytail? Uh, that's a good question. Like, they have to specify... You're asking the hard question. They have to specify about. their butt ponytail versus their head ponytail. So imagine that life. I wonder if it just never comes up. What if they're like, oh shit, you have some leaves in your ponytail? Yeah. And they're like, well, which I wouldn't one? say ponytail if I if they had a butt tail. I'd say you have some leaves in your tail. So you'd say ponytail. I, for if you head. were if you were wearing a ponytail, Lana, I would never say, hey, you have a leaves in your tail. I would never say you have leaves so in your tail. So you would you'd call this one the tail and this one the ponytail? Yeah. That's so weird because no, it's not the one that's actually the part next of time the pony. You have a, next time you have a ponytail, I believe you. I'm but going like, to just refer to it as like, how funny hey, that your is. fucking tail is, needs to be fixed. Uh, think how funny that is though, because the the pon the tail that's actually part of the pony isn't the one you refer to as the ponytail. He's not a pony though. Horse then, whatever. So it's a horse tail. Well, then where the hell does ponytail come from? I don't know. What do you know? I know that next time you wear, I'm, yeah, I know that you have, you. I know that thank right now, <laughs> I know that right now you have uh, a tail. Uh, and Bard621, I would go big or go home. You would never get it three quarters of the way destroyed. Hey, look, we got another. Now they have this friends. They're buddies now. And they, just, <laughs> they hang out. Yeah, that's good because they look like they're circling. So that's They're a good, prey. that's a good, like, you guys are going somewhere and I'll throw those in and they, like, circle around y'all. Great, good. Lana, do fairies have tails? I don't know. No? I don't think so. Tinkerbell doesn't have a tail. No. no I'm going to go with no. Final answer. <clears throat> All right. Prove Lana raw. Welcome, welcome to uh, to uh, Fridays with TPC, where we prove Lana and Devin wrong. I don't like this game. Uh, we have thoughts, and they're probably not right. 
but they are rendered. Yeah. Listen, you could ask us questions. We have answers. Are they right? Hey, look, Who a knows? lady, a human paladin. A human? Back in the basket, base kicks. Well, you know, you know, it's interesting. There's only like, there's only like five uh, classes or five races in Theros. Oh yeah. Keeping it simple. She's got some fun hair, and I like that. There's. I room, like the color scheme. Room in her chest plate for boobs, which. They're yeah. not all, you know, you don't Here, want them smushed up in put, there. Put some, put some on the board so we have something while, uh, that's there to look at when you're uh, massive uh, yeah. party. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, big boy. Um, the Walking Who, excited to be here. The Walking Who, welcome. Good to see you. Ooh, this is, this looks like a big boy. I can't get this it. This looks out. like a big boy. Ow. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. This is a chimera. Sick. Damn. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, so it's got a unicorn head and a lion head and an eagle head with some crazy ass wings and crazy ass tail. Uh,. So we got some slithery uh, front claws here, and then the back ones are a little more lioness. Compare this to D and D's other Chimera. This is D and D's uh, other Chimera. Oh, interesting. So these are very different. Yeah. This one's this one is goat, lion, drago. Yeah, dragon, reptilian thing. This guy is unicorn, eagle. Uh, this that looks like a lion with a ram's with yeah, like a lamb like lion. A lion face with like ram, which I think this one's closer to yeah. the actual Greek version of. Look at look at look at those dragon hands though, or like, you know? Yeah, the wings are a lot cooler. I like the feathered wings more than the. Yeah. The, the other one I feel like is like a it's like a, <clears throat> so a chimera could just you know I think maybe you could even say in your D and D games like there's many types of chimeras. You know, in campaign two, there's going to be like a chimera just refers to any creature of three heads. Um, uh, well, maybe what I, what I use. Um, okay, now imagine these two had a baby. What heads would they have? Mm -hmm. They just, it's just a crab. It just becomes a it crab. It just becomes a crab. It just becomes a crab. I like to think it has six heads now <laughs> and all of these heads. Oh, so it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and grab them, uh, uh, a focus on them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that. Turn, turn, turn the uh, white one to the side. Get a couple side. Oh, look at that. Look at that tail. Do, do a three sixty. Yeah, I like I like this one. This one's cool. And also, I like this curved unicorn uh, head. You know, because usually it's just a point out, but I like this kind of like this. Oh. You know. I feel like that would make it hard to impale with, though. Like you'd have to really bend down. Yeah, but then it's like a horn, right? So they just like, as it goes up, it just I mean, it's definitely great attaches with like... and just throws you back. Mm -hmm. And then you're just kind of hanging on it. Ooh, that sounds like a fun legendary action. Okay, no. Yeah. No. <sighs> yep. So it has fur, scales, and feathers. Yeah, it's the goat. Greatest of all time. Uh, also, has anyone seen Witch on Netflix? <laughs> because there's an evil... Not to give too much away. It's fantastic. If you like horror and any of A24's films, highly recommend. Uh, if you don't like creepy, weird horror stuff, don't watch it. But there's a black goat just like this in uh, Witch. And yeah, well, I won't give away too much, but there's these two little girls that are always like, Oh, I talked to Black Philip. Black Philip, he wants to talk to you. And uh, after I saw the movie, me and Nate would always just be like, Black Philip. Let's go talk to Black Philip. And that's what they called the goat. His name was Philip, but they specific because he was all black. Yeah. So they would always be like, oh, Black Philip's acting up again. Mm. I'm realizing out of context how weird that sounds. Yeah. No, it <laughs> but you did say goat. It's a goat in the movie. Watch the movie. Um, uh, let's see. Um, the Fenry same Stark, studio they that are the like same Kiwi Sanctuary, except they are uh, there and one has spell turning. The book also includes a custom table for it, which oh, is for the stats. That's cool. I like that. Makes sense. 
the Theros one is uh, also a CR higher, a little, little higher in challenge rating. That would make sense. Um, can I think? Here, here, you, you want to throw me the keys and throw me the box? I'll open it for you. Mm. Are you sure? I'm happy to, because I kind of want to make sure I have my keys back at some point. I'm not going to steal your keys, and I'm going to get better at it. It's going to be great. <laughs> Zekril says, hey, everybody. Um, I heard that in Brack's voice in my head. Oh, I was I was going for uh, for uh, Dr. Nick. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Nick. Oh, I got, hey, everybody. It's <laughs> Brack. Oh, wow. I'm using the book that you guys gave me. Yes. You guys know we're great at giving things away. Ugh. Check out our Speaking check of out our big boys. Oh, Dish. oh! Look at this. This is a great. This is a great Cyclops. I think I have the. I, I think I have the OG Cyclops here too. Um, wow. You show that one off. Let me see if I have the OG Cyclops. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. He's got a good little beer belly. Uh, solid loincloth. Clearly uh, takes his. You know feet hygiene well. He's got a nice little pedicure going on. Yellow really brings out the color of um, gross. And you know, just because you're an ogre doesn't mean you don't suffer from male pattern baldness. Yeah. Very real. Okay, this is this okay, this is the voice I'm gonna give this one. <clears throat> okay. Let's hear it. What are you doing? What? Yeah, in my house! No, the old cover my house in my house! I will step on you! What? Oh God! Out here! I like to think he's really soft spoken. He's like, hey, hey, hi, 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 hi. Can you can you leave my house, you please? Just along with me. Can you leave my house, please? I just picked up a wonderful shade of yellow that I'd like to put on my toes. <laughs> Ravens, who the hell ordered the deluxe edition? <laughs> um, hey, hey, you, you. There's the other Cyclops right there, too. For his religion, Fenris. <laughs> put it right there. Right there. The religion right there. of right uh, there. Cyclops. That's the other Cyclops. Oh, here's the other guy. Yeah, <laughs> he does not have the same hair problems. So clearly yeah. they're from different uh, ideological yeah. beliefs. Um. <laughs> and... Yeah, w w that, that one is definitely looks more like, I'm just a giant with one eye. Yeah. That one, that, this, this one is kind of more like, Shut up, dude. Friend. Yeah. You only know it's like to have one eye, the dude. Pro version. All right, I got one eye and one eye only. I'll freaking crush it, dude. But I still have a heart, man. All right. <coughs> he definitely accessorized. Wait, let, let, put his face up there again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, please, if you guys, if you guys could be cool. I would mean, really appreciate it. Who would win this standoff? About to take him in the groin. Um, oh, I'm definitely gonna give it. Uh, move them over to your. Uh, yeah, um, I definitely gonna give it to the, uh, the the one on the right or the jeez, well, jeez, your jeez. right, my left. Jeez, jeez. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> um, look at those toes as well. That's those are some monkey toes. Don't like that's impressive. Oh, look, it's so gross and yellow. No, no, don't, don't. I don't want to see what's already that long. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. <laughs> The one with abs. They both. Oh no! One of them has abs, and one of them. Well, has everyone has abs. It's just how defined they are, right? They're just deep down under yeah. there. Hey, 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 abs! Don't, don't make fun of me. All right, I'm just gonna have an eye. Oh. <clears throat> I. This is my new. This is my favorite new thing: is to give them voices. Anvil Rot Raptor. <clears throat> we got a little steampunk birdie friend. Ooh. Oh, what well, you, you don't you remember the the the, the mechanical bird in uh, Clash of the Titans? Uh, vaguely. Yeah. <clears throat> that was an owl, I thought. Yeah, but I mean, uh, but again, remember it's like it's Greek adjacent. You're Greek adjacent. No, I'm at, uh, 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 my heritage uh, isn't even close to Greece. Well, six degrees separation, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really not big adjacent to being adjacent to being adjacent to being adjacent to Greece. Uh, one was definitely on the thir 300 Cyclops workout. <laughs> this is Sparta, dude. All right. Ooh, speaking of ladies, we're going to get a lady. Um, Stona, captain of the Pylias. 
Uh, Fenrir Star gets Greek without copying the trademark. Is Greek trademarked? Um, Can you trademark <laughs> an entire culture? Yeah. Um, also, check out this uh, cape. Ooh. Okay. Um, go ahead and focus her. We got, for some reason, it wants to focus on your... You might have to pull back a little. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so what's what's her voice? Uh, do you know do do you know the actress who played um, uh, Thor's sister in Ragnarok? No. Who was that? This is I see her as this. Chat will let me know who it is. She reminds me of Eva Green in the sequel of Spartan of Three Hundred. Ooh. Okay. G give me her voice. Or you know, I already did. I already did a bunch. Now you have to do her voice. Uh. Great job. <laughs> Lana has done it again with her famous <laughs> voices. Uh, uh, she's going to sound just like Brack. Brack's going to get a lady. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. That's who it was. Thank you, Kiwi. Oh. Uh, and she played Hella. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Did you watch Ryan Rock? I did. Okay. Because I was going to say, like, but not enough I'm going to push you down some stairs if you didn't. No, and I have a huge crush on Kate Blanchett. Yeah, and you also like have a huge crush on Norse mythology. It's true, I do. It's true. Get Lana drunk at a party and like mention anything Norse, and she's like, "Did you know?" <laughs> and he's like, "Thor is in a wedding dress, okay? A wedding dress." It's true. Because Loki. Here's what they don't tell you about Loki. Uh, that's like one of the best stories <laughs> is when he pretends he cross dresses as a woman. Um, watch Zeus is going to come back uh, and try to sue for the rights for something. <laughs> you get a cease and desist yeah. from uh, fucking Asgard. <laughs> uh, sea Seed Mount Olympia? I, what? <laughs> Would it be, what, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a fake law office, and we're going to start sending de cease and desist to companies that use Ew. mythological properties as... <clears throat> like the lawyers of these gods. Does that sound fun? I think that sounds fun. <clears throat> um, did you read uh, Neil Gaiman's Norse mythology, Lana? Fenry Stark. I sure did. And <clears throat> who gave that to you? I don't know, some idiot. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, okay. Er, <clears throat> you still didn't answer the fucking question! Dev gave it to me! Yeah, that's right, because I'm a good friend, you it's piece true, you of are shit. Good friend. <laughs> I love you. Um... <laughs> do okay so i don't know how many of y'all played uh witcher the well, the third one mm -hmm. but this 100 percent looks like a creature holy shit that you fight in it and kill um oh. they're like super crazy things <clears throat> all right so this is <clears throat> this is like a little bit bull and zebra kato blepas i like it <laughs> i like it or katab <clears throat> La Paz, or Kato. <laughs> That's what they sound like. Kato, cat, <laughs> cat, Uh, is it just me? Or does that thing have ball sacks for cheeks? Uh, yeah. Oh God, now I can't see. No, 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 because. That that's it. It's just like that's like snot bubbles coming out. That's almost worse. Yeah. Because like you, it's definitely coming out of his nose, which I really dislike. Um. I almost wish it was his balls and not that. Because, like, if you let it get to that extent, yeah. that, that's just... This is like a this is like a baby. This is like babies. Because babies, it just keeps going. And they're like, whatever. And they're like, ah, ah, ah. I know. Perpetually sticky. Yeah. It's like, why are you even sticky? You just came out of the bath. What did you use? Like, ah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, guys, uh, <clears throat> are we going to are we gonna start a fake law firm and start send cease and desist to companies that use... Uh, Greek, North, uh, or any kind of pantheon and propose like, hey, listen, um, my client, uh, Odin, is suing for punitive damages. I mean, to be fair, Odin's kind of a dick. Could I, could, could we get totally in trouble for that? Who is a lawyer in our Discord? We need a lawyer. Um, uh, yeah, I want to be a writer for it, uh, Fenry Stark. Fenry Stark, you're on board. You're an associate. There it is. <clears throat> also, I think this is a female. <laughs> As Lana, yep, yep. I oh, think that it's a female. I think it's. A, I don't see. It's the, giving me very female vibes. According to the Wikipedia article on these, 
they have a they have like kind of like the duck penis that comes out. Ew, Ooh. the corkscrew. Yeah, they have a corkscrew penis. So that means this is fake. I did not. Look, I have nothing up on Wikipedia. Ducks do have that though. That is not fake. Yeah, that is true. And it's terrifying. Yeah. Um, don't even get me started on that. This all this all guy also looks like he listens to a lot of metal. I like to think he listens to like old. Uh, <laughs> Paladin could be neutered. <laughs> not from his nose. <laughs> they just transplanted it to his face. <clears throat> Mount Olympian oysters. Um, it's not <sighs> rocket. Uh, all right. If it's satirical purposes, you'll be fine. Kiwi Sanctuary. Kiwi Sanctuary, our channel's lawyer. Thank you so much, Kiwi Sanctuary, for that. She'll be uh, our lawyer for our lawyer firm. Yeah. <laughs> our lawyer for our lawyer firm. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> We got some, we got some good ones coming out of here. I really like. How many um, boxes we got left? Two. God, it's going by so fast. Uh, February Stark Apart. Whoa. Okay, slow down. Let's see how you do off your your first year. Make sure that you you've crossed the bar. <laughs> I can't just give away part. You know, you want your name in the door. You're gonna have to do some work in the pit. Uh, so you have to draw inspiration. You have to wipe this guy's face. <laughs> You're on snot duty. Uh, favorite thing, I've watched like all seasons of Suits, so I'm basically a lawyer. Actually, you know, uh, ooh, I don't know if anyone watched this. I'm just gonna, this is a shout out for a totally different channel. It's on YouTube. It's really fun. If you like law stuff, check out Legal Eagle on YouTube. Uh, it is one of my favorite YouTube shows. He just like breaks down the laws that people break in movies. So like, he's like, here are the punitive damages you would expect from Jurassic Park that would have to pay because of, uh, their negligence. Okay, answer me this. Why the fuck does a griffin need a cape? Uh, because it's fancy as fuck, Lana. That just, like, logistically, <clears throat> how does it fly with that thing oh. around back there? All right, here's, here's my griffin voice. Oh, you think I don't need a cape? I of course need a cape. Look how fancy I am with my wings. Do you have wings? No. So you don't get a say if I get a cape or not. I just think it's unnecessary. He's a fancy boy. I think it's boy. a little too extra. I think it's not extra enough. I want him to have a monocle. He would totally have a monocle. <laughs> I like those ears, though. They're like... Are they? I guess they are ears. Yeah, no, what do you think they are? Ball well, sacks? Some <laughs> I do tend to think everything is ball sack, apparently. But, like, owls sometimes have the feathers. They look like ears. They're like little tufts. They're not actually ears, because owls just have holes in their head. Fun fact. Okay, so uh, Paladin in chat agrees with you. He says, over stylish. Yeah, see? I, here's He's like just, I think Gre I, I think Grecian I think opulence. Like you know? this is the kind of thing that when he walks in he walks like this. Yeah. No. He's like. Yeah. He's he's and look at that look at that smug face so smug. That that smug that smug beak on their face so smug. <laughs> uh, Raven said, so "Love Legal Eagle." I know the liar liar episode is great. So is my cousin Vinny episode. <clears throat> All right. What else we got? Wait, hold on. I'm going to get another beer. Yeah. This feels very uh, Egyptian almost. Less Greek. Oracle. Here's another arms wide open guy. He's on. He's in a sing-off with this dude. You know, he's going for the up arms. This guy's going for the down arms. <laughs> That's what they would sound like. Yeah. Clearly domesticated one like the pet for the game. Oh, maybe that's it. I would ride uh, him and fly around, but the cape just seems like it would get in the way. They need to be unconstrained. YMCA. Ha! Ha! Ooh. Talk about bad hair day. It does Am look I like right? Creed. Clearly looking for a nipple touching chest bump. <laughs> they're, get, they're getting ready to. Oh no way! This is a very this is this might be my favorite one. This might be my favorite one. Look how sick this is. Her hair be gray. <clears throat> that I think that's Medusa. It is Medusa. Yeah. And here's the thing: compared to the Medusa miniature I have, uh, I like this one a lot more. Um, this one it looks like she has a lot of static in her hair and, you know, going a little crazy. Also, if you she put it into a ponytail, would it just be a snake tail at that point? 
What would we call that? We're trying to braid these? No, all natural, dude. All natural. <laughs> um, this is, I, I, yeah, look at, wait, pull it back a little. There you go. She's like, I don't know. I love this one. I don't know. Um, I wish there was a little more detail on the snakes on her head. Because yeah. at, at a certain at a certain angle size. they look a little phallic. I want her to be as big as the cyclops. Yeah, um, they look a little phallic. I mean, it's a snake. Yeah, but it's just like maybe like with some mouths open or. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> this looks like she has a lot of penises coming out of her head. Well, don't we all? <laughs> what? 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 Um, do you believe in life after love? Oh, of course I do. Um, uh, a little spermy to me. <laughs> um, here, give me that one. I, I got one. I'm put that one aside. I'm gonna use that soon. Man. What if she's like super chill and not mean? God, wow. This is so tight. Yeah, I wish she was bigger too. Dude, everyone's in Creed poses today. Check out this guy. Huh? Ooh, uh, pull him back a little. There you go. Yeah, this is like this is like the Human Torch. Uh, no, he's the god of honey. <laughs> wait, no, 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 he's not. Perpetually sticky. This is okay. So this is this is a uh, um, this is like Queen's soldier. Yeah, yeah. And he's just always really sticky, and he's trying to get out of honey. But he just you know he can't. You just can't get out of honey. Nymph all seed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nymph Allseed? That's his name. I didn't make it up. <laughs> he's also very glittery. Um, he's kind of see-through. He's got very pronounced nipples. So. The god of bread and mold. Uh, Wait, but what is he actually? What is his Death Dice and Dungeon says it's Winnie the Pooh, the god of honey. What is this actually meant to be, though? Um, okay. <clears throat> Get, well, here, listen. Let, let me go to Dini Beyond. All right, and it's called what? Nymph, comma, A L S E I D. Uh, E I S. Oh, it looks like wheat. He's standing in wheat, kinda. Wait, spell. Wait, <clears throat> spell the last. Uh, A L S E. A L S E I D. E I D. He's standing in a pot in a thing of wheat, and I. This looks like honey to me. <clears throat> Okay. And it looks it's like a, oh yeah, yeah it, it's wheat. It's wheat. It's a fake creature. Um, oh. uh, now I'll, I'll, I'll read the description. Touched by the golden light of the sun, all oh. states inhabit meadows, plains, and lands of cultivated natural beauty. Many live closer to proximity to human civilizations than other nymphs. Farmers are grateful for the presence of all sites, as their lands are often uh, to leave them offspring of mead, honey, flowers, and dates in return. Honey. For protecting their, I win. And making their crops I get inspiration. More abundant. Add it to the thing for next week. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. He <laughs> got grass of those babies. Um, but bonus to the nipple damage. Yeah, they're very pronounced. He would he would impale you. A little. So it's a wheat nymph. A wheat nymph pull. Ah. Here, show off this one. This is a this is a Pathfinder mini. Okay. Ah! But this looks like Zeus, except, but with a sword. Except with Thanos, because he's purple. Yeah, but he well, he's like a magenta. But this looks this like is this is not magenta. This is purple. This looks like a this looks like a Zeus. This yeah. looks like a Zeus. Very Zeusy, except he doesn't have an eye patch. Does Zeus have an eye patch? I thought it was Odin. Oh my God, Odin! I'm stuck on Norse. Wow, there goes your inspiration. I never had it to begin with. I know, but now you definitely have. Uh, yeah, I was still on Nordic. Uh, yeah, I guess this could be Zeus. Yeah, that looks like Zeus. Don't cross the streams, Lana. Never cross the streams. Do you guys remember when you did that on stream? That's basically what God of War did. So y'all can back off. <laughs> Whoa, spoilers! It's not at all. I don't know. I've only played like three hours of it. You've only had like two years to do it. I know. No, that was a really fun game. But they like merge, because he Kratos is basically Greek, but then he's like, I'm gonna just hop on over to the Norse world, and that's what it is. That's kind of cool. You've played the game, Deb. You know. This. I didn't know. I didn't. I did not know that piece of lore. I was like, 
I guess there, I was like, I wonder if there's. I didn't know there was a Kratos. That's the main <laughs> character. That's who you're playing at. No, no, I didn't know Kratos wasn't part of Norse lore. No, he's, <clears throat> all the previous games are all the Greek lore. Never played one of them. Oh. I'm very bad at games. When you're like, Devin, how do you do all your things? <clears throat> it's usually because I'm sacrificing game time. Hmm. And I and and that's not to say like gaming isn't important because I'd like to, but I also like I'll play. I'm like, all right, <clears throat> and then I forget where I am, and then I have trouble picking back up, like uh, <clears throat> um, to like where I was. Well, like, what are the controls? What am I doing? Where am I supposed to go? Kratos is a Greek character from Greek mythology. And all the previous games of God of War were all Greek stuff. And then this one, he was like, peace, y'all. And then he hopped on over to Norse world. <clears throat> That's so sick. Just imagine we were like, you know, this world sucks. I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah. Later. That's why I'm very curious what they're going to do with the next God of War. Like, what yeah. pantheon is it going to be? Ooh, what pantheon, do you, what pantheon would you want to see? Because I think Aztec is ripe. There is <clears throat> never enough media if that. For yeah. whatever reason, no one wants to touch that. It's hard to find any movies, shows, Games, anything. Yeah. Um, don't ask me why, but it just is. Okay, last box. Last box. Ooh, oh, uh, death, dice, and dragons. D&D questions. Scrolls don't require material components. If you, uh, if, if you find the scroll, right, uh, they're used in the creation of the scroll. Uh, yeah, they do not require material components. It's modeled from grape taffy? Uh, yeah, I believe the uh, purple one. Oh, this guy? Yeah. He would be great flavored. Okay, he speaks like this. <clears throat> Hello, my son. I am the great Zeus. Listen to me. Okay. I am Zeus. No! no, listen. Can you go to the pharmacy for me? Fleece main lion. Ooh. So he's a lion, but he's got sheep hair. Ooh, Akuna Matata. Man. Look at look at his face. <laughs> it also looks like he drew on a mustache in like goatee. <laughs> he's got chins. Wow. Also imagine trying to comb out these dreads. Good luck. I love him. Ew. Look at look at all those muscles. He's very look at, Yeah, look at the Ew. Ooh, that's actually a little too defined. That looks like he's got massive Charlie horses throughout his whole body. Like, you need to drink some water. You look dehydrated. Uh, Tobias Science is a good time to redeem house points. Of course it is. Also, chat, if you uh, haven't joined uh, a noble house in our Discord yet, I suggest you do. Uh, They're still filling up. Uh, exclamation point join to join our Discord. Uh, five noble houses, all vying to have the most power in political... Uh, uh, influence. <clears throat> also, uh, Matthew Raccoon, I have not. And it's still going to be Norse. Okay, so that was, that was my only problem with the end of The Last God of War. was like, well, spoilers. <laughs> it's been so long since the... Chat, am I allowed to talk about it? It's been long enough that if you haven't finished it by now, Dev, you probably never will. Because... You don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I did delete the game. I had to make room. I bought another game that I won't that finish. That you won't finish? <laughs> um, even if we say no, would Lana listen? That is a good point. <laughs> and Yo, you're not wrong. their glasses. They're ready to read. Ooh, speaking of uh, sheep. Also, why? Okay, hold on. Nick's fleece ram, but he's half see-through. Or Ooh. purpley. Like, a, like, yeah, he's part of the dream world. I like he's that. He's just grape jam. Yeah. <clears throat> he's not a ram. He's grape he's ram. ram. Um, he's from Nyx. Nyx is the uh, is the dream world. Um, uh, Matthew Raccoon also, I'd recommend it. Aztec gods play a large part Ooh. in the book that uh, they're referencing. That's fun. Yeah. I'm currently reading Aztec Thought and Culture by Miguel Leon Portilla. Um which is really good, but very, very dense. So, La La Lana's doing a little heritage reading. It is true. Because um, you you kind of already dove into your like uh, kind of Nordic heritage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now I'm have reading. You, have you, you're, 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 you're both of your parents one kind of Norse heritage, the other uh, Mexicali uh, Aztec. Is that the proper heritage reference? Mm. I don't know the extent of which. I kind of want to do one of those DNA things, but yeah. my mom. I did a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100%. 
something. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my mom is first generation Mexican, but there is indigenous Mexican mixed in there, yeah. along with inevitably a lot of Spanish because they literally raped everyone um, in Mexico. But I don't know the percentage wise. And then my dad's side is the Norwegian yeah. German side. This looks like a, a lady Groot. Ooh. She's so small. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm, 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 oh, oh, I, hi there. Um, I'm, I'm very small, and I'm here to tell you a dream time. That's what she sounds like. Like, <clears throat> she's so little. This is, this is my goat. This is my goat. This is a nymph. Can I pet that goat? Lamp. Can I pet that goat? Can I, Can pet, I pet that, that goat? goat? Can I pet that uh, chimera? <laughs> that's that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. But the, literally, this looks like a lady group. Uh, uh, maybe it's Mabel Lion. Okay, I like that. That was pretty good. That's a good one, New York Zom. Uh, Nix, that's what the gods are. Uh, you dare you dare mock the son of a shepherd? <laughs> yes. Don't you wish Whoa. We had a Damn, look at this Matrix move going on here. Oh! <laughs> this is I, I, straight I, I, up I think, like... I think that one got a little bent. You wanna... You wanna... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. This is her pose. <clears throat> she probably should be a little more... This is some Burning Man vibes right here. I like that, but I like this sort of uh, lean back. Lean, lean back. back. Yeah. Lean back. Um, Fire starter. Yeah, th this, she's a firebender. She's a nymph or Uh, uh Which is a fire nymph. Smoldering boobies going on. Ooh. She's just got a Smoldery. lot of flexibility in her ankles. <laughs> <And> si <laughs> well, good. Smoldering boobies. <laughs> Smoldering boobies. New band name, I called it. <laughs> well, tell, tell us about your date. Well, she had uh, smoldering boobies. You could say her breasts were smoldering. Which what does that mean? Nobody knows, but all you know is that you want that. <laughs> no, I don't think you do. I would love my breasts to be smoldering. I. Yeah. Clip it. <laughs> Please. She's also got uh. It's you know, the Michael Jackson lean, says that crawl. She's got some like uh, Dragon Ball Z hair going on too. Like, what? 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 What, what was that? Or Legion from the comics. This is the exact yeah. hairstyle he has. Just straight up like yeah. a trunk. I like that. I like it. Skirt. Look at that. Look at that angle. She would limbo real good. Professional limbo. <laughs> but like only to the only to the side. Only to one direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When she's not like firebending, she's moonlighting as a limbo artist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sweaty asshole, smoldering boobies, Zekrol. This is Lana. This is Lana. This is what she's known for. There's just so much going on with this person's body. <laughs> Sheep are larger than I think. Sheep are larger than you think? Um. Sheep are sheep are larger than. Wait, would, sheared or unsheared? Okay, so who's your favorite so far? Start putting them all in there and uh, just like on the thing. Put, put it in focus. Honey boy. Mainly because I got it right. Here's a uh, limbo girl. Mm -hmm. And I like Lady Groot. This was definitely a fun one. Um. Let's see. I enjoyed the crab. Mm -hmm. slash I, lo I love the crab. Emissary of Thaw. Put, put, put the big ones in the further back. Yeah, there you go. Ah. There you go. There we go. And who else do we have? Um. Oh, all of our arms wide open players, which <clears throat> we had a lot of. With arms wide open. Yeah, yeah. The emissary. I think the emissary is is a favorite of everyone's. That was a good one. Where's our other arms wide open character? There was like seven thousand of them. There's one right there by the box. Not on the white. It's not on the white uh, poster board. This guy. 
Isn't that it? What, arms really open? No. No. God, do you even know? Oh, here he is. I can't see from that distance. There he is. This was this guy also's he head thing reminds me of the those creatures in Star Wars, the Lady Jedi, that have the Ooh. like tentacly yeah. thingy. Well, those aren't Lady Jedi. Those are, are called I think they're called Teelings. Well, there's one that's a Jedi. Yeah, that I remember. Ahsoka Tana. Yeah, um, she's the coolest. Mm -hmm. uh, in chat, uh, throw some pizza. Throw a pizza party for Ahsoka Tana because she's the coolest. I hope uh, I hope uh, um, she shows up in. Uh, um, is it uh, uh, Twilix? Twilix. Twilix. Um, yeah, look at all that pizza. Wow, now I want pizza. Send uh, us pizza Twilix. and a pony, please. A pizza <laughs> delivering pony. She isn't? Oh, I thought she was a Twilix. I guess uh, I'm wrong. Ha! It's okay. I'm ha. wrong about a lot of things. Not as much as you. Rude. <laughs> Well then, drink or drink. I, that that's all of it. That's everyone. Fancy Griffin. Oh, it's a cousin species. <clears throat> Mug Griffin. <clears throat> he just like barrels through everyone. Get out Excuse of here. me. Excuse me. Hey. Uh, hey. Do you see my cape? See, and his cape gets everywhere. Don't you see my cape? Do you, not, do you not see my cape? Like, I have a cape on. You okay. You gotta walk behind him and it just gets in your face. Like, excuse me, uh, leave me alone, because I have a cape, okay? So, uh, I don't know sir? if you noticed, sir? but I sir? have a large piece of fabric attached to my neck. Sir, 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 do you see my cape? Do you see it? Two-headed Cerberus. Ram, who's half jelly. Grape jelly. Ah, they're kind of like Vulcans and Romulans. Uh, Paladin, cape just annoys them. Thank you. It's okay. Cape's not for everyone. Cape is a hard thing to pull no. off. Cape wasn't for the Incredibles. No capes. Fine. Caves for the Jack Snyder cut. Or Zack Snyder. Jack Snyder. Zack Snyder. I don't know if I'm going to watch that. Have you heard about this? Huh? <clears throat> Have you heard about the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League? No. Okay. So I don't know a lot about it. Okay. But Zack Snyder was working on the Justice League movie. Mm -hmm. And then halfway through, I think creative dif differences or something, he either left or was asked to leave. And then they brought in another director, Joss Whedon, Drama. to finish the movie. Now, HBO like bought all of DC's properties through a merger. And they're allowing a re-release of the movie that was Zack Snyder's original vision. But just from editing, he didn't yeah. shoot anything. Yeah, from editing. Okay. Um, and uh, I think there's a mustache. I think Henry Cavill has a mustache in it. There's a lot going on. I don't know. People how I have feel about really that. strong opinions of it, and I don't I don't have one. Also But I, I'm very curious about why why those opinions exist. I'm very on board for the internet recently suggested that Henry Cavill would play a fantastic live action archer. Yes. I am super on board with that. <sighs> you know, Henry Cavill's also in a new show or new movie that's coming to Netflix this month called Enola Holmes. Which is Sherlock Holmes's kid sister. Wait, then who's Henry Cavill playing? Uh, she, he's playing Sherlock. Oh. But the, the 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 movie is called Enola Holmes. Also, did you see that Jason Momoa is playing a new role in The Witcher? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Or at least that's the rumor. Let's hear some goss. Yeah. So. What what role? Let's see. Uh, he's playing Alona, <laughs> just <laughs> just in a wig and on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know you, that you know what that reminds me of is the idea of of uh, a Home Alone, um, where um, it is uh, what was his name, uh, Macaulay Culkin is playing Home Alone, like the third one, except he plays a child, but it's just never addressed that it's being played by an adult. <laughs> Remember when they made another a final Home Alone and they just randomly recast the kid? Yeah. And everyone was like, "The fuck is this?" Well, they also had a couple other Home Alones that were different kids. Well, no, Home Alone one and two were. Yes, but then they had a couple other Home Alones oh, that weren't that weren't Kevin McAllister. They were other kids. All right, that's a little more. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So. <laughs> Paladin, my opinion is DC makes bad movies other than Batman or Joker movies. Or animated. Correct. Animated. 
Don't sleep on Harley Quinn, the animated series. It's fucking fantastic. All right, ready? Yeah. For the tea? The rumors floating around the internet are true. Netflix is looking to cast Game of Thrones and Aquaman star Jason Momoa as the lead of a recently announced prequel, The Witcher Blood Origin. So wait. You say orgy. Blood orgy. <laughs> the Witcher Blood Orgy. That wouldn't be too off base for I The wouldn't, Witcher. Because I'm like, I'm like, listen, Netflix could do whatever the fuck they want. Also, The Witcher, he has like three different romantic interests. Yeah. Also, like, we're gonna be so starved for new shows in like eight months we when everything are catches up. Desperate. You know, like I'm watching the wildest shit right now. Like, <laughs> um, to, uh, Raven still told me chill. So uh, that's all well and good, but can we talk about Disney bringing back Boba Fett in Mondo season two. Have you are you watching Man- Man- Mandalorian? I've seen the first season. The new one doesn't come out till okay. October. Yeah, exactly. But I'm stoked. So oh. Boba Fett is supposed to be in it. And here's the thing: uh. spoilers. Um, but I think I, I think our audience is is very much about Mandalorian. There is a scene that we hear. I think in the last episode of uh, someone walking, and you could hear like spurs. Mm-hmm. And that was like a note of Boba Fett. Is right. he had like a spur. So everyone thinks like, yo, it's Boba Fett. It's almost been pretty much confirmed. Sure. They also think Ahsoka is going to make an appearance in you season two. You know what my two. biggest gripe with The Mandalorian was? What? 30 minute runtime. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? I want an hour and a half you, episode. Like, what is this bullshit? Give me an hour and a half episode. That's all I want. Yeah. Like 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I want minimum like 53. Minimum. <laughs> Uh, back back to the Witcher, Zach. Well, pretty sure Yennefer would have a blood orgy. Oh, she hasn't already. Yeah, I'm like she has a punch card yeah. at this point. Please. Um. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Who cares about those kids uh, and why are they left home alone? <laughs> yeah, I was left home alone a lot. Also, no one ever tried to break into my house. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, I think there was a web sketch out there that was a kid that was home alone and he made all these traps and the the people breaking were like just kind of avoided the, the game. Like, it's like, it's really sad. Here's like, I think Home Alone 3, okay? Home Alone 3, but Kevin McAllister is an adult. And Kevin McAllister owns a home security company. And someone breaks in this house. Who is it? It's been 40 years. And the Wet Bandits are finally out of prison again. Oh my God. And they're out for blood. How bandits. old are they now? And here's like, don't make it for kids. Because... Kids don't know this uh, this property. Make it for adults and make it like The Purge. I like to think make it Kevin McAllister, John Wick ass. All of uh, his home security things are disguised as like kid toys or antics, but they're yeah. like actually really gruesome, dark. Oh yeah, like just burning off the skin of your yeah. hand. You know, like stepping on nails yeah. embedded in the floor. <laughs> like some pretty dark shit. Like here's like, um, do you ever watch The Good Son? No. Okay, it was it was like um, this kid gets adopted by a family. I think like his parents die or something. He, he moves in with his family. I think it's like his aunt or something. And the kid is Macaulay Culkin. That is like the 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 kid he moves in with. Okay. Macaulay Culkin is like a psychopath in it. It is so scary. Um, it is terrifying. And it's kind of like this is what the, this is what Kevin McAllister grows up to be like. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I could totally see that. Yeah. Also, uh, in terms of Team Yennefer, did anyone play the game and get the ending where Yennefer... Whoa, I haven't finished yet. I've given up on that. Uh, where they got the ending where Yennefer and Triss are like, peace, you know what, fuck you, we're going off together later. Because that's one of the outcomes you can get, is both of the women reject you, and they're like, you know what, fuck it. And they like become best friends and leave you. I don't need to play a game to feel that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have and a wonderful partner. She loves me. That I love they like, just banged each other lesbo style, which I was also on board for. Yeah. Listen, I'm on board with any time people are having love and expressing it the way they need to. I support that. I just like to think they got a second stuffed unicorn to bang on. <laughs> Wait, a second? Yeah. That's like the infamous scene in the game. Okay, well, I there need to an play, entirely, I need to play more Witcher. There is an entire animated scene where you bone Yennefer on top of a stuffed unicorn. What? Yeah, and it's like very explicit. It's not implied. Like afterwards, she like starts bugging you because she's like, "You ripped my favorite pair of underwear. They were so expensive." That's like literally what happens. And I'm I remember playing this game, being like, "I'm uncomfortable right now." This here's was like, here's like that. That's the type of scene that if you if you have anyone around that watches you play this game, 
That's the time they come in. That's it. Like, yep. if I was playing this game and, and that happened, Laura would immediately, she'd be at work and somehow she's like, oh, I came home for lunch. Oh my God, Kiwi Sanctuary. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and she'd be like, what the fuck are you playing? It's like, it's an action game. I don't know. <laughs> I swear. This is part, yeah, you have to go through it. We have Literally, to Literally, the fucking camera record. pans down and he's like going down and then you, and he's implied that he like bites her and rips her underwear off with his teeth. And I'm like, <laughs> Ah, uh, there's just so much to unpack here. That was a lot. Um, there's a there's an excessive amount of sex scenes in that game. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a um, there's like someone who's storyboarding. It's like okay, so uh, scene one, uh, romance scene. Scene two, uh, they start to undress. Scene three, he bites off uh, her underwear. Uh, <laughs> and then to make, uh, like, scene four, storyboards yeah. for that. And, and, and it's going through, and someone's like, hey, so I'm like new here. Should I? Like, should I should I speak up about this? I don't. I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm pretty new too. Okay. Okay. Just yeah. Great idea. It. Great idea. Love it. It's excellent. Is and then it's part for the course. They're like, oh yeah, they fit one of these in like every 30 minutes of the game. <laughs> and and they're uh, they're sitting there like, okay, this is good. We're going through. And then somebody's like, the fuck do you guys? What the fuck is this? What is this? It's like, listen, it's too late now. It's already in there. We've already done a lot of it. Someone comes in. They're like, all right. So I've been Ship working it. on this all night, uh, and I've come up with like five different versions. And now this is crucial to the narrative, the entire gameplay, and integrity of what we're trying to do. What taxidermied creature should Yennefer and fucking yeah. um? Well, the, like, the, listen, this is a little too masculine. This scene, uh, we like to find a way to, you know, maybe make it a little more approachable. How do we make it more feminine? Let's throw in a unicorn. unicorn. Girls like unicorns, right? You know Lisa Frank. Yeah, done. <laughs> throw it in there. Listen, I love Lisa Frank. Dude, I got ripped on in the in velvet school. posters that you colored in. I was like, listen, I had one of a unicorn. This looks fantastic. Uh, and they're like, it's for girls. I'm like, listen. You don't know what you're missing. Uh, it's fin. Look at all. The look at how much fun this. Thank world you, Geralt like. Paladin. I was blanking on his name. I almost wanted to say fucking Thor. I was like, still stuck yeah. on Norse. By the like they only have one crew working on the physics for that scene. It's like, all right, listen. So, uh, let's go ahead and roll the mocap back one more time. All right. Uh, but do you think uh, her breasts uh, are uh, bouncing quite right? Like here's like I so I there I do remember like maybe I remember the scene I, I can't I can't remember what sex scene I remember from which well there's a lot but so. I'm always like I don't think boob I, I don't think I've ever seen boobs move like that they spent they must have spent hours rendering that like listen how do the boobs move like bags of sand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, glad you came in today. Uh, uh, not, uh, not draw them back in on the unicorn and check on you at lunch, Zekro. <laughs> I can only imagine what the studio, the animation studio was like when they were making this game. Yeah. It's like watching Game of Thrones, except I think there's more consent. Because Game of Thrones, that's probably the biggest thing that's that lacking definitely... besides an ending. Oh! Besides quality. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was all very consensual, so that's that's good. I like to think it was like, the punishment, like if you are fucking up, they're like, dude, you're gonna get assigned to one of the sex scenes, man. And you're gonna have to oh, render God. this. That is actually terrifying because that actually seems like a form of abuse. Like that, that that seems like a form of abuse that could have been used in Game of Thrones. The animation but studios also, do that all the time, yeah. though. Like if you were not doing well, they'd assign you to a movie. Like, what was it? DreamWorks. Yeah. Um, if you were fucking up with your work, they would assign you to Shrek when they were animating it. And there was even a term for it, like you're you gonna got get shreked. You're gonna get shreked, and you're gonna be booted and have to work on that. Oh my god! <clears throat> so can I tell you? <clears throat> can I tell you? Well, so I know that I know that verb differently. Getting shreked. What? Okay. Um, getting shreked is a verb I also use. hold on. Paladins like we need a group meeting on the color and perkiness of her nipples at ten thirty. Urgent. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that coming through during a screen on share. your calendar. <laughs> um. So they're like, all right, listen, we got to figure out what nipples are going to look like. I've come up with multiple color schemes, man. <laughs> it's just a wall. I've been staring at areolas. of nipples. Of areolas all day. Yeah, it just takes all the fun out of nipples. <laughs> um, You've officially ruined nipples. All right, so so shrekking someone yes. um, is what I do when I run a D&D game for people that have, haven't played with me. Okay. And I ran this for, for, for Joey and Phil. Um, and, and, a, and a couple others. Mm -hmm. um, I say, okay, listen, uh, you, you're, you're, you're being hired by the king. Okay. Uh, the king's putting together a new trade route, uh, but it's going right through uh, like a, a swamp territory. There's an ogre there. 
Um, and that ogre is going to threaten the trade the trade route. You need to go there and deal with the ogre. Uh, they finally go there. The ogre lives in this mud hut. Typical. It's got a donkey outside. And it's about that point when they realize, like, is this the plot to fucking Shrek? I'm like, that's why I'm like, ha ha! You got shrek <laughs> You got shrek boys. I'm your dungeon master and you just got shrek uh, Somebody! <laughs> Cue the music. Um, Kiwi Sanctuary, do we have a count of how many times they've said nipples in this episode? I feel like we're reaching triple digits yet. Nipples, 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 nipples. 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 Nipples, nipples? Nipples. Nipples? Parlez-vous nipples? Nipple, nipples. <laughs> nipples. La nippelonia. Uh, nipples. Oh, nipples. Um, all right, uh... Do we have anything else on? Do we have anything else on our agenda? Besides nipples? <laughs> uh, besides. I mean, we all got that all hands meeting about it on the calendar. <laughs> Listen, Total Party Chill's got all hands. Cypress and Devil wants to make sure we know what everyone's nipples look like. At least they're being. At least they're being rendered correctly. Yeah. Like we we okay. Listen, we know what Elsewhere's nipples look like. They're dangerously small. They're also like, very. He, blue. He's the most ripped out of. Uh, he's like the most ripped tiefling. We have some little tiny, little tiny nipples. No, no, little ones. And like, here's the thing. It's not bad. There's no nipple There's shaming no there. no nipple shaming. <clears throat> You're just kind of like, such a big chest. So strong. It just accentuates yeah. the size discrepancy. Um, You know, uh, Bruce, I don't know if Bruce has nipples. Does Dragonborn have nipples? I don't know. Um, Because here's the thing. Uh, Eggborn uh, yeah, they don't creatures to... don't, ha don't yeah. breastfeed. Yeah. So Bruce doesn't have nipples. I think that I would agree with that. Okay, River. Yeah, I think River's got like the they're just like a little bit longer than 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 regular. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, who else we got? Uh, I'm definitely not going to talk about any of the female characters in the show. Yeah, I would say that's a good move. <laughs> um, seriously, so let's raid uh, Vadu. She's a great guy and loves horror games. Uh, this is the uh, Zekro. This is the content I sub for. Oh, good. I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> A lot of Polon Polonio, land of nipples. <laughs> um, it's a magical place. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, chat, remember, um, uh, we are, uh, we have, right now, it's open to join any of the noble houses, um, if you like. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, a lot going on. We have a new agenda item posted today that will close up on Sunday at, <clears throat> at noon, I believe. Noon or three, one of those two. Pacific. And I'll go ahead and give the results live on stream um <clears throat> uh thank you to uh thank you to whiz kids Th hold up a box hold up like a throw me a box too so i can hold up a box Hiya! whoa oh hey there turbo oh my goodness put, i got put, excited put a couple more in in the shot so we can see a bunch of them uh, what is on the cover why didn't i get one of those uh because you have to buy that one separately uh, um uh, yeah um this guy. Put a couple more miniatures, uh, you know, in the uh, 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 in the white, you know, the white space here. Don't tell me what to do. I, the, then do it. Oh. Man, arms wide open, man. With eyes wide open. Uh, with like nips one, wide open. Locks two. Um, you know, I actually had a lot of fun doing this with you. I want to bite back to the next one. Damn it! Um, <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> actually, last question. <clears throat> Let's hold these up so I, I have something to put as the thumbnail for YouTube. That's smart. <clears throat> Boom! Wait, 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 wait! Ah! <laughs> um, uh, you watching Lovecraft yet? I haven't started it yet. <sighs> Lana. I'm on it. I will! Get on it. Man. Get on it. Man. Get on it. On it. I'm currently uh, finishing up Legion with Nate because he hasn't seen it. Okay, all right, that's we're good. almost done though. Um, <clears throat> all right, so uh, yeah, this is fun. I, I kind of like this very low key stream and just like the little chitter chatter after it. Chitter chatter. Yeah, <clears throat> if we get more stuff sent that we can unbox, I think I think we could just do a uh, you know an occasional thing where we do this. I'm down. And then just talk about things. I want to be eating pizza when we do it. Lana, you know that that is fine. <laughs> can we have a pony? Can we have a pony? Can we have a pony? Listen, you can, I'll let you take home the, the, the nightmare. Studio pony. <laughs> it's not the same. 
<laughs> uh, but Trico, it's a great up. segment. <clears throat> Yay. Um, uh, Nipple chatter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like a cool just chatting uh, stream. Me too. Um, <clears throat> it's also, I feel like I've known Lana. Lana, how long have we know each other? Since 2010? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we know yourself. Oh my God. We've been friends for 10 fucking years. Did we know each other in 2010? Yeah, because I, I believe, I believe, because you were my, uh, so Lana used, Lana used to work for me when I had a, like a clothing store and art gallery. She used to manage the art gallery. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how we met, and we've stayed work. friends ever since. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I since closed down those stores because rent it was ridiculous. Retail so, rent so. is bonkers. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but that God, what a fucking. I remember, and you when you initiated me, quote unquote, uh, you were like, "I got you this beer. Welcome to the team." And I was too afraid to say that I don't drink beer. Yeah, because I was like, "Oh, I don't want to make a bad impression. Like, I just got this job." So I shotgunned the beer and hated it. And then you were so sweet, and every time on, like, Friday at the end of the day, you'd come in with, like, some beers and always offer me one. And I would take a few sips, and then every so often I'd go to the bathroom and dump a little bit into the sink yeah. to make it look like I was drinking it. Now, why don't you tell the story when I found out that you didn't like beer? I don't remember that. <clears throat> oh. Well, when I found out Lana didn't like beer, I'm like, why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, yeah. And then I would start bringing in ciders. You did start bringing in ciders. Yeah. I know, it was not a big deal at all. And I was like, I don't know why I did that for so long. <laughs> just Lana in the bathroom by herself, just pouring a beer into the toilet. I'm so and happy I, like, I had this like, job. Walked by, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> what the? But I would do it in small increments, so it wasn't suspicious. Yeah, but you'd be like, blah, 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 blah. I just, that's just how I pee, Dev. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Lana pouring one out for the homies. <laughs> Lana has a lot of homies. <laughs> just... So many. That God, that's sad. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Zekel, Devin's just intimidating as all. <clears throat> I don't know. I have a need to please people when I first meet them. I'm like, I just want them to like me. <laughs> um, yeah, 10 years. Kudos to us. Air a five. long time. <laughs> um, all right, chat. Uh, um, we're going to go ahead and raid, uh, a homie. Um, why, why don't you give them a pizza party? Uh, we're going to raid this one. Ra Raven still, uh, Vroosh. Yeah. Uh, great guy. Loves horror games. <clears throat> um, horror. Horror. Also, uh, what's fun, September 12th, I'm going to be running a special one-shot on Saturday with um, uh, Aaron Gray, uh, 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 Sally Pixie, uh, Katie, and I believe uh, maybe Janine um, and some other folks. It's going to be a uh, – it's like a new D6 system, and it's all about the occult Ooh. and clearing houses of evil spirits. This house. <clears throat> Yeah. Is clear. Uh, so that should be really fun. So I'll be coming uh, uh, the... Uh, um... I have exercised the demon. <laughs> Which one talks like that? <clears throat> it's the girl. Honey boy. It's the honey boy? I have exercised the, the demons. demons. <laughs> this house um, is clear. Uh, all right. Uh, we're starting the raid. Uh, chat, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you soon. We'll be live this Sunday. Uh, at 5 p.m. So we can't wait to see you then. Uh, and as always, let's have some fun. I don't know. I didn't know what I was supposed to say there. <laughs>